Hello guys, and today I'm going to try and get absolutely totally sloshed um, by eating some boozy chocolates, okay? Now these are alcoholic chocolates which are meant to be um, eaten at Christmas. I just didn't quite get round to it for whatever reason. So I'm doing a little bit of video now. Now it's currently the 18th of July. And these were dated for to expo on the 31st of May. These are currently expired chocolates. Okay, bit of a waste, but never mind. These are bought around Christmas time. Um, there's been a couple of news stories today. One of them is about Jaguar Land Rover is going to build a UK battery factory. Sorry, battery factory, not factory, factory. Okay. And there's also been a new story about um, some child McDonald's workers, children who work for McDonald's being mistreated um, by some of the adult staff. I don't want to go into too many details because a bit it might um, might affect you know how this video is treated. Okay, by YouTube. Okay, I'll provide links. Okay. So here I have the chocolates, okay? It says Boosty Selection on the back. It says it's Blood Orange Gin, Spiced Rum, Bitter Orange Spritz, Marc de Champagne Cap Cocktail, Passion Fruit Martini, Irish Cream, Whiskey Caramel, and Margito, whatever that is. So here you go. This is the back of the pack. Now I'm going to try and open the thing. I didn't bring any scissors, which is probably a mistake. Okay, don't worry. I'll, right, I've got some of it. So I've got some of it. I'll open up some of the sticky tape. So. And that will open up. Here inside is the box. This is actually from a budget shop. This is from a whoops. This was actually from a budget store. So although they look very fancy, it was actually from um Owls oh, UK, which is basically a budget um supermarket. So it says Aldi there, so it's not from some very expensive luxury high end um one. And here it gives you a leaflet so you can look at what you're eating if you don't want to lift up the of the, look at the bottom, it tells you, it tells you exactly the same thing, but it gives you a leaflet so that you can see what you're eating. And these are the chocolates here. I haven't switched it, don't we? I haven't seen me switch the box because, and you might think, well, have I switched the box? Have I? No, it's still not the same inside out. I mean, in theory, if I was really, really good, I could have switched the content, but I'm not. That, I'm not doing that. I don't. This is the only box I had. I've never tried this that one before, to my knowledge. I can't remember. Well, not to my. I can't remember if I have. I doubt it. And here you go. So I'm going to pick one at random. Here, yeah, it looks like a pink one. And this one, I think, it's difficult to tell actually. Um, let's see. Yeah, that looks like a pink one. So the pink one. Oh. Um, it looks like a blood orange gin, I think. Um, is it a blood orange gin or it's a Marc de Champagne cocktail? It's difficult to tell on these which is which. And some of them, there's a lot of pink varieties they've got. So, mm, difficult to tell which is which. Cause how do you know? I oh, know, yeah, maybe the blood orange gin. Uh, looks like it might be the blood orange gin. It's just difficult to tell. Okay. Um, right, so there we go. These are known as the cures. They're basically al alcoholic chocolate sold at Christmas. Normally, 
and kills are quite soft. I had to shoot inside normally I can bite it easily but I can't so I had to go my mouth and do it which I don't like doing which uh showing on camera. Um next got some thing. Because indulgent dark chocolate truffle flavoured with a blood orange and gin. A blood orange and gin. What do you mean by blood orange I'm not sure but I'm probably stupid for not knowing that. It's probably a variety of, of orange. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 11, 12, 13. Then there's... Mm, 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 mm. Interesting. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. there's 13 chocolates in the box. I've, I've obviously had one. And there's... And there's eight different types, that's quite strange really, because normally you have like two of each or something like that, but... And got 13 chocolates, eight different types, rather strangely. So, okay, it wasn't mine came from sweet all of them, but never mind. Um, and there's two of these. Um, and, um, um, might have been two of the other ones I've just had, um, that's four, oh yeah. There's two of these look the same to me. So and maybe there's one of each of the others, I'm not sure. But anyway. So the next one I'm gonna try is the um looks like it's the mm, it's really hard to tell these comments, it's really annoying. It's because they're different shades of white and it's like I don't know why I didn't just pick different colours because it's not obvious. Um yeah. um right so one of them is the yellow it's the yellow and the yellow pushing through pushing through um okay right so this one's obviously it must look like the Irish cream so it looks like the dull one. This looks like the Irish cream. It's just it's if I show them together, for example, um, they, the colours look very similar. They might not on camera, but they do look quite similar in the, in the box. Honestly, it's just oh, they look quite different on camera, but when you're in the box together, they look very similar. So, in this kind of lighting. So, um, I'm just going to check the two of these. The, the camera seems to do a better job. Yeah, they're the same. Right, so anyway, I'm going to try this one, which is an Irish cream. That's that one. The one I had before was that one. And now I'm going to eat it. It looks like a trush, like a truffle when you open it. And it says silky smooth toffee blended with lashings of Irish cream liqueur. I think this is Irish whiskey, I think. There we go. And, um, oh, I'm looking for one. Okay, so looks like there's another one of those, so okay. 
Um. There's definitely only one of these. And this actually looks like red. It doesn't look like this on the camera here, but it definitely looks very much like a proper red. Um, I don't know. It says bitter orange spritz. That was some bitter orange strip. It says Jingy orange flavoured chocolate truffle, blended with orange flavoured liqueur and marked the champagne. Champagne, not so. What am I saying? Champagne, silly idiot. Champagne. Um, I'm not thinking straight. And champagne. I'm just a Mark Bishop pan bit threw me off because I found um, one here that claims to mark the champagne. Yeah. So This one also seems to be marked with champagne, but it's probably some sort of orange version of it. So, I haven't had any yet that I don't like. Um, what a surprise, given this is actually a budget brand. Because it's Aldi. Um, I'm going to have next on um, this kind of one that I'm one of. And I'm going to compare it with what they call a Mark de Champagne cocktail. Because the last one was a Mark de Champagne, um, sorry, Mac Champagne. I've, I've done what I'm saying that I'm not, I don't know what's happening to me, I'm just, must be tired or something. Champagne. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll go to Sopo, so I've got to go into town tomorrow for the government, so. Um, I dozed off a bit earlier. So. This is the Mark de Champagne cocktail. And it, it says soft, sumptuous milk chocolates truffle, fused with crisp Mark de Champagne. Oh dear, there's two of these. There's one brought in the other. Oh dear. Um, help. Mm. I saw and I thought, great. I've realised that I've probably screwed up because one looks bright and the other. So that maybe there's another blood red or orange bin. So, that's what I'm saying. It's so hard to tell this. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's just the lighting. It's not brilliant. And So I'm going to try this one. Hopefully this will be the mark for champagne style. This one looks like another good orange drink which I've already had. It's not easy to tell this unfortunately. So hopefully I've got the right one. I wish we felt a little different to the other one. So no, it's broken up a bit inside. This one's actually broken up. Mm -mm, it's like a truffle, so it all looks chocolatey, but it's just chocolate truffle, so
I've had similar things to this by, by form machines in the past, but the, I don't think I have the alcoholic version. So I think the um, form machine version I have in the past, which are a uh, better brand, to be honest. Um, also, it tasted nice, but they were big, so they're not expensive slightly. I had them in perhaps a smaller pack or after Christmas or something when they're cheaper. And but I, don't, I don't think that the short machine ones I had had any alcohol in. Mostly good. So I could be fair that it could be totally drunk tomorrow, okay? Um, let's see what we've got left there. Oh, whoops! Not helpful. That was not what I wanted to do, but you know, whenever you get a camera, things will go wrong. Um. Mm -hmm. Right, so we've got, um, we've got the Maggioto left, we've got the passion fruit left, we've got the spiced rum left, um, and this one I have, that one I have, um, we've got the whiskey caramel left, um, I think that's it. I think the others are just repeats, so um yeah, the others are repeats. So and there's four left to try at the bottom. The rest are all repeats. So I'm gonna try the whiskey caramel. What do I do with the um where is the camera? Okay, anyway. Oh dear, it's not really helpful. Never mind, I didn't realise I hadn't got the um Okay, I hope that was okay because I didn't realise I got it up oh, never mind, let's see. Can you hear me? Probably not very well. Um Okay, but I I was talking anyway, so hopefully it picked it up. Um, the microphone should have been down here, so now that should have been better. So it might be quiet, but never mind, just put up with it. I, I had problems early with the um, putting it on with this, so never mind. Okay, if it's bad, it's bad, just put up with it, guys, um, and girls, and men, and women, and whatever, right? And as I said, this is the um, whiskey caramel. I most of these just look just chocolate inside with different kinds of alcohol I think so it says soft caramel perfectly paired with warming whiskey okay and what have I got left um right three left so next one is the passion fruit martini normally I wouldn't have eaten a whole lot of these in one go but I'm doing this just for you guys, so you can... And they all look very similar in size, to be honest, I think. The main difference seems to be the top. And this is a um, tinty passion fruit flavour. Vodka blending a milk chocolate truffle 
modern classic cocktail. So, in terms of me, these all have been the same apart from they've just changed the top. So, it looks to me as if they've just changed the top bit. You know, like, like that bit. Um, no. I'm going to be describing them because most of the time you taste the truffle, which is the same on all of them. I'm starting to feel a bit sick now, to be honest. I'm not sick of the chocolate. No. Because I don't like it, but I think this one might be a bit more sickly, the passion fruit one. Um, There's just two left. Now I've deliberately held my fingers this way, deliberately. Otherwise, um, it would look very rude and I might get banned from YouTube if I put my fingers around the other way. Okay. I know, I think in America they put the fingers around the other way compared to this, but it's seen as offensive over here. Um, And this is what they call Mojito Decadent white chocolate truffle generously blended with rum and beautifully partnered with zingy lime. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a white chocolate truffle before to be honest, I could be wrong. Um, but normally they have milk chocolate and these kind of things. I don't think we've ever had a white chocolate liqueur before. Um, I don't think I've had a white chocolate truffle, but I could be wrong. But I'm, I'm pretty sure I've never had a white chocolate um, liqueur, okay? Unlike the others, this seems that this has a whitey yellowy Sticky insert here, and this is quite sticky. You can see it. I can even press it because it doesn't come quite so much like that. And finally, the last one because the others are all the page, okay? This is the last one. As well as the last one, spice rum. I don't recommend eating a lot of these in one go because it just seems a bit sickly to be honest. It's okay if you have two or three now and again, but having not in one go is a bit sickly. I think it's just you can have too much of a good thing. I think there's too much chocolate, obviously very rich in nature and The moment of course it's probably not the most expensive chocolate either. So not that I mean for very very expensive chocolate, I don't that's not the matter. And um it says much milk chocolate and rum truffle with added cinnamon cinnamon, sorry, added cinnamon, I'm not sorry, it's quite small lettering flavour with added cinnamon flavour to complement the rum's natural spice top notes. There you go. Looks like this is the last one. The others are just for pigs. No, no, rum tends to have a more sour taste for those who don't drink alcohol. Um, and maybe we tend to have a much more sugary sweet taste, okay? Rum tends to be quite sour, I think. 
and the game is so safe with Jamaica. So, right. I'm going to say that's it now. This is what's left. I'll put them back in the box. Fold this leaf for top. Even though I probably won't even look at it when I have the rest, to be honest. And there we go. Mossa Roth branded, which is I've only ever seen in Aldi to be honest. And um, Booty Collection. There's an indulgent selection of booty chocolates made with Belgian chocolates. So now I'll probably be very, very drunk, okay? Because all of these had alcohol in them, okay? And I even warned you this, it says caution. Um, contains alcohol. And I believe I had to, you know, they had to check that you were the right age when you buy this because it's got alcohol in it, I think. I could be wrong. Um, it's from memory at Christmas time, but. And that was around, well, nearly seven months ago. I and mean, I would have bought this about seven months ago, probably. So, down the edge, you don't really see very much. I mean, I've already showed you the back, but I'll show it you again. And this contains the same information that's on the leaflet as to what they each of the different um, style, different flavours are. And a list of ingredients for once I'm too lazy to read them all and in order to tell you to recycle the packaging in this um just written this here oh, because recycling is quite um a big thing here in Britain so there you go guys some boozy Belgian chocolates okay from a budget supermarket okay thanks for watching bye